Hey everybody, today I want to talk about this model I got and this is what it originally looks like in the box. You know it's a, I think it's a Ford Econoline with a Chateau package. Um, and I started making it, you know, as is. And I just, just didn't like it. So I turned it into a maintenance van beat up old thing um, and I'm going to show you some video on that if you feel like watching um, but I will tell you you know in this on this packaging it shows you really nice coke machine which it has in it you can do it up and it has the soda bottles um, but the cart to move the bottles it does not have which I was a little disappointed in it does have some things to do some upgrades. It does have a roof rack. And if you feel like putting the circles in the back, I like fishbowl, I think is what they call them. They do have the uh, the glass parts for that. Well, they're plastic, but you know what I mean. Um, but otherwise, I mean, the model is, you know, it's, it's good. It just, it just wasn't what I wanted to do. So I'm going to show you some video on that and how it came out. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is a quick look at just cleaning up all of the flashover and whatnot. And here we're just running it through a little. So you'll see I'm showing from basically the middle. I lost a lot of footage on iCloud. I have no idea where it is. But that's okay, because it probably would have been boring anyway, too long. If you watch carefully, you'll see a lot of little tiny details that I put in that really nobody's ever going to see. I don't know why I bothered. I guess I was just bored. In my video, you'll see I'm using the Revell glue, and I gotta tell you, that stuff just made a mess for me personally. I recommend either the super glue or something a little different. On this particular model, the instructions were <laughs> a little vague, so if you don't have a lot of experience, really go through the instructions before you start because I've done this for years and I was getting a little frustrated on the uh, suspension system. I might have been better just leaving one of the windows out but I put them both in. Which blocks you know some of the detail from being seen but you know I think it gives a nice effect. It would be cool if I could figure out how to make some jumper cables and have them hanging out of this thing. Something I want to do but I haven't done and I didn't do in this model was to cut the doors open so you know you could see the inside and whatever. Have them just glued open or whatever. But I wasn't in the mood to try it. I was talking to a gentleman at a hobby store and he was kind of walking me through it so I might try it on the next model. But this is how it came out. And if you lasted through the video this long, thank you. And I threw in some pictures of the inside because, you know, there is some... I have junk and tools in the back. Um, and you can see them in the following clips.